Hello everybody, I hope you guys are all doing well. So I'm back for another requested reading from you guys and this time the question is can you see anything positive for the United States in the future? All right, so let's see what can we collectively expect when it comes to the future of United States. This is United States and the outside elements. Okay. Let's see, the United States. It's gonna be rough. Judgment. The chariot. Five of Wands. Um, Seven of Swords. Eight of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. I, I see a lot of aggression, a lot of fight outside and within. This is within. And here we have this five of wands, people fighting each other, being polarized, um, be becoming intolerant, extremes. It's so it, it's this energy here, it's present and I think it will take a while. I don't know if it will get worse, but I, I don't see things calming down. And we have the two fives here. The five of cups and the five of wands. And the number five represents change. Uh, it, it's a bit of like a disruptive energy. It also means uncertainty. Um... It's about adversity. It's a very like a tense energy. So with the five of cups emotional people's emotions are being triggered. The five of wands, this is fire element, this is aggression. So there's that. Uh I said like people fighting with each other. Um, and from the outside, we have here the Seven of Swords. It reminds me of that guy. I made a video and I told you guys about him. Um, Yuri Besmanov, a former KGB agent that escaped Russia and fled to United States and Canada. And there he exposed the, the plan of the Soviets to destroy United States from within. It's pretty interesting. I think I'm going to link the video again if any of you haven't seen it and would like to see it. Uh, so it's pretty irrelevant and it shows that what's going on today, I think it does have um, something to do with that. Maybe it didn't work exactly as they had planned it, but it worked nonetheless because they never uh, gave up trying to destroy United States from within and they still do. And I don't think it's just Russia, it's all the enemies. So with the Seven of Swords, I'm getting a feeling of this energy, like the enemies doing things like with this secrecy underneath this. And they have planted the seeds, they have already... Um, done sort of things and now they're kind of reaping the results. They're, now things are happening. For example, 
I don't know if you guys have heard, but some of the universities where you see all these pro Hamas um, crowds, uh, they have received millions of dollars in funding secretly from Qatar. So it's this kind of feeling that I'm getting from the Seven of Swords, this this infiltration. It's something that is like digging from beneath. And we have the Eight of Wands here and the Ace of Wands from outside. Getting a feeling like increase the pressure. Um, so it's like th this foreign forces and enemies, they're going to increase the attacks, but they're, they're kind of attacks that are like this, like hidden underneath. It's um, with this Judgment card. Um, it also has this karmic element to it, like, you know, everything that was hidden, like everything has to come out, everything has to be seen, um, and this is kind of like going to the next stage, but there's like a purging, a purification process, so I think that for the long term, this might be good for the United States as a whole because it's um a lesson learned and I'm seeing with the chariot despite the attacks that are very aggressive and despite the polarization here the black and the white and people you know being in the extremes or like they're manifesting themselves violently even though there are these challenges and this pressure the chariot is, has this energy like it managed to uh, control these opposing forces and Even though it seems like mayhem, because five is change, disruption, dis instability. But here we have this, see like this square here thing? That's kind of like order. It's fixed, it's solid. So there's something about United States that it does have some like a solid... Um, ground solid foundation and that it can take this type of disruptions and it can actually learn from it and go to the next stage go to the next level so there is a potential for a positive outcome but don't expect things in the near future to be calm because they're not going to be calm at least from what i'm seeing in the cards I hope I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But I, I'm i telling you what I'm seeing in the cards. So it, it it's not going to be peaceful. It's, it, and they're going to um, amp up. Or how do you say? They're going to increase the, the enemies. They're going to increase the attacks and the pressure. They're going to do like desperately everything they can to de destabilize the United States. Um, of course, as I always say, nothing is set in stone. It depends on our free will, independently, collectively. We all have choices to make, lessons to learn. So it's up to us what we're going to do. But I'm seeing this tendency, this potential here. Yeah, so for this one, Let's do with uh, the Osho deck as well and see what we get there. Maybe we get some other perspective or some more details about this. So it's the same question. What is there in the future for the United States? Is there anything positive we can expect? What's up? Okay. All 
All right, so this is the United States. Healing, we have healing. Ripeness, nine of pentacles. Yeah, change. This is the wheel of fortune. And we have what the eight of pentacles, ordinaries. So I'm I'm getting a feeling like the whole maybe the whole world, but like we're just focusing on United States. It's going through this process of healing. Like, you know, because the healing process is messy. Um it's painful. You may feel like everything is getting worse. And now let's see the other ones. Okay. The Magician or Existence. Eight of Swords. Control. All right, so I'm seeing this as like the authoritarians. I'm seeing it as China, Xi Jinping, um, the other guy, the Korean dude, Kim Jong-un, Putin, uh, the Mullahs of Iran, all this. See, it's the control. It's the male energy control. I need to. Um, everything has to be under their rule. So, judging from this card, the fool stepping over a cliff. And then, oh no, what have we done? The guilt. I think they're going to make mistakes. This is this is the magician existence. It, it means like it's potentiality, anything it's possible. But the, the magician also has that um, energy of mani manipulating things. Control, power. Um... So, I think they're going to make certain choices that they'll regret later. But it will be too late. And here for United States, with this change, there is a change coming. This is like the will of fortune. In a way, it's destiny. In a way, it's something that could not have been avoided. It has to happen, this process of healing. It might take time because this the ripeness here, the Nine of Pentacles, see like the apple will fall when it's ready. Um, so at the right time, things will get back into the like see ordinariness here with the Eight of, Pent Ace of, um, eight of Pentacles. So I think for United States, it will be okay. This to me is more positive. Wheel of Fortune, this change also has a karmic element. So we had in the previous one judgment and now this, and I relate this with karma. So I have three cards that I relate powerfully with karma. It's the Wheel of Fortune, the judgment that we had, and justice. To me, those are karmic cards. So I think that this is a, Something that needed to happen, that needs to happen. It's a karmic thing. And for these bullies, these authoritarian regimes, these tyrants, uh, things are going to get worse for them. So I'm getting the sense, as I said, that they'll make mistakes that they'll probably regret. But of course, here with the existence, it's, it's in the realm of probability, possibility. Um, so we'll see. But this is what I'm getting. This is what I can tap into. The final message, I think United States will be okay. It's strong enough. It has a foundation that is strong enough. But it will be very challenging. So if things get messy or continue messy because it's already messy we need to understand that this is a process that we collectively need to go through 
but it's th with this healing message i think it you should take some comfort that it's something that will better us collectively um So, yeah, this is what I can see for this question. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. I appreciate all of you, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.